Okay, here is the story of the Queen of the Blues. Let's see um, So, here's Naomi, sad, situated. She's lost her husband, Elimelech, and her two sons, and her two daughter-in-law are Moabites. Uh, that means they come from another culture and another nation, and little hope of finding new husbands in Israel. Um, and there's the great sign with uh, Marlon and Simeon, her two sons, and Elimelech, Naomi's husband. And she was very sad. So she tells her daughters in law, go and find new husbands from their own people in Moab. Because they're still young. And as far as we know, they haven't got any children. Uh, and so they, she says, go and start a new life in Moab. That's where you're home is. And uh, initially, they, 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 they think, hmm, I, I wonder about this. Here's uh, uh, Naomi saying, Ruth and Orpah, about that. And Ruth is the one in, in with the red scarf on, I think. But um, what happens is that Orpah says, yes, I'll do as you ask me, Naomi. She's been obedient to her mother-in-law. Um, and she says, yes, I will return. So off she goes, and Ruth and Naomi wave her goodbye. But Ruth says, no, I'm going to stay with you, Naomi, my mother-in-law. Wherever you go, that's where I'm going to go. Uh, she refuses to go back to Moab, and she says, wherever you go, I will go. Your people shall be my people, your God, my God. Can we say that together? Where you go, I will go. Your people shall be my people, your God, my God. So Naomi has found not just an obedient, faithful daughter-in-law, although at this point a bit sicker than you, and your dad, she There they are, starting their new life together as they arrive back in Bethlehem. A name which means house of bread. The family is over, and that's where we're leaving the story. We will pick it up next week. What a friend. What a friend Ruth was. She said goodbye to her future with her own people and culture. Potentially, no new husband, nor children. There's no evidence that either Ruth or, or Pa has had children by their two husbands. And so she gives up her own future to remain with Naomi, her mother-in-law, and friend. And she's determined to do so. She has been friend. Who remembers this? We sing it together. It's not in song for fellowship, I have to say. Neighbors, everybody needs good neighbors with a little understanding. You can find that perfect man. Neighbors could be there for one another. That's when good neighbors become. Friends, that wasn't really the tune, is it? It went through various, various um, iterations as I sang it. But nonetheless, you will remember it if you're of a certain age. It was around when our boys were young, they were growing up, and they watched uh, neighbours find someone that they did. Uh, and um, for a long time, it was a staple soap opera on. British television. Of course, where is it set? Australia. Anywhere? Do you know where in Australia? Melbourne. It's set in Melbourne. This is neighbours. They fall out, but they're friends, and all the story that comes from it. And a lot of careers were made out of neighbours. As indeed were a lot of careers made out of these six friends, which seems to be continually on the loop. Some alternative universe where everybody just wants.
to spread the hope. And we're not going to sing that theme tune to say, but let's go well on. Friends, meeting in a coffee shop, living in the same apartment, uh, and uh, or apartments on the second floor, and being friends and supporting in the arms of love and all the rest of it. So what do what do friends do? Uh, you've got 30 seconds around your table to think what do friends do. If you're a friend, what do you do? What do friends do? And then we'll cut and get some, some answers. You're watching this online, so you won't necessarily see everything that's happening just now, but we're going to have a road round and get something for every table. Something that friends do. So, picking over here, one thing that friends do. Friends listen to what each other. Thank you, that's brilliant. What do friends do? They celebrate the good times and share the bad times. Thank you. Anybody here on this table? Anything else? They look after each other. Friends look after each other. And Molly, what do friends do? Play. Friends play together. Yay! Friends play together. They do. Come to the this table. Friends are honest with one another. Thank you so much. That's brilliant. Right, come on over to this table. One thing that friends do. Friends support each other. They do. What else do friends do? Have a meal together. Friends often have a meal together. Yes, they do. I'll come back to that table in a minute. Come to this table. Anything? Friends spend time together. They do. They do. Come to this table. Friends have fun together. Friends have fun together. One more table. Yes. What do friends do? They do their thing. Friends are there for you. Thank you. Wow. Who'd like to have some friends? I think that's unanimous. Friends who do all those things, they are so good for us, aren't they? Part of the way that God intends us to flourish as human beings. Uh, so that's what friends do, and here's what you're going to do. My uh, friend Jeff Coleman, he's got this quote from another friend of mine, uh, Alistair Ross. He says, There are friends for a reason, friends for a season, and friends for life. Friends, for a reason, are the people that we work with or we play sport with them or we're at school or nursery with them. We have a shared interest and some friends in church are like that. And then there are friends for a season. These are friends that we've been very close to at an earlier stage in our life, like school or college or previous church. But they're no doubt they're real friends, but kind of life has moved on and the friendship is now more distant. So they're not quite so close to us. And then there are friends for life. And friends for life are often those we form in our early adult life with a shared education, we've been to college or university together, we've done things at school together, or we've worked together in our first job. Sometimes, quite often, we have children of the same age we're close to them in the church we belong to. But when we move on, and work often demands that we move on to a new place and a new habitation, the friendship remains. And there's the friends we pick up with when, often after quite a while, we can just go and meet them and we pick up as if we only met them last week for lunch. And often those closest friends are those we make as family or so, I'm going to ask you to do an exercise now. Uh, I'm asking you to make a map of your friends. 